Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. My past is not my prison. My past is not my prison. Often, uh, I think everybody, if you live long enough, you're going to have a past. I mean, um, uh, even if you're young, uh, you, you, you may, and you, you're old enough to remember yesterday or last year or last summer, uh, you have a past. And some things that happened in our past, we're happy about. Some things we're really not happy about. So there's some things we could have done differently. There's other things that we couldn't, you know, we had no control over at all. And, uh, but the, the fact is, is all of us have a yesterday. All of us have uh, uh, something back there, all right? And often, I'm going to tell you, this happens a lot, uh, uh, especially the older we get, uh, uh, because years sneak up on you. You know, I'm, I'm, uh, a, a, even my, uh, this year, I don't even know where this year went, uh, uh, where the time has gone. I, don't, I, I, I know even this last year, I had good days and I had bad days. I had days I liked it and days I didn't like it. And, uh, but, but often, if we, if we spend our time looking back on something, on an event, a trial, a problem, uh, uh, something that went on yesterday, right? Uh, we, we, t we take our focus, by putting our focus on what was back there, we take our focus off of this moment now, which by not focusing on the now, we, we also lose our hope uh, or our way for tomorrow. And uh, because life is really uh, lived in the now. And uh, that's, a, that's a very simple thing to say. It's very difficult, especially if you've been hurt, or have experienced a trial or a problem in your past, things you don't don't appreciate. Uh, uh, it's, it's it, often though in the moment, like when we just talk about our past or yesterday, it's really a choice. It's a decision that you have to make. Each of us, I have to make it too. We have to make a decision to move forward, uh, and that's never never easy, especially if you're trying to get through some difficult situation, a trial or a circumstance. It's, it's, but it is, it always begins with a choice. Okay. I make a choice to move forward. I make a choice today. That, that means that in spite of how I feel, <laughs> especially not because of the way I feel, right? I can't let what I feel dictate what I do outside. All right. What I do uh, today, what I do in this moment, because I may not feel like moving forward, but really that's what life is. It's a choice to move forward. A a amen. Uh, uh, you know, I, just by saying that, what I said right there, I, I really am bordering on the, on the concept of forgiveness, uh, because, uh, because it's true. We must forgive ourselves. We must forgive a person. We must forgive, uh, uh, even our concept of what we, what we, how we feel about God at the moment, uh, especially if we're blaming him for something or someone else or ourselves. uh, when we start to blame uh, we we got to we got to cross the bridge of forgiveness, and I I'm reminded of a verse in uh, Matthew five verse twenty three and twenty four. It says, "Therefore, if if you bring your gift to the altar, and remembers that your brother has ought against thee, leave your gift there at the altar and go your way and be reconciled to your brother." <laughs> I think one of the one of, I, I I just love that thought. Uh, because it says if they have ought against you, and uh, I, 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 if, if you internalize that thought just for a second, you would you would uh, maybe have a conversation with yourself, especially if you struggle in the area of forgiving yourself. I I, I wasn't very smart. I did this thing, or I was I should have been uh, more knowledgeable. I should have uh, paid more attention. I should have did this, or I should have did that. And so even if you just internalize that thought for a moment and say to yourself, I'm going to forgive me, I'm going to forgive myself, maybe look in the mirror and say it, I'm going to forgive you and I'm going to move forward, okay? And I'm going to move forward with a hope for a better tomorrow, amen? And uh, so easy for the, I don't know if you've ever uh, understood this a little bit or thought about it, but the, the, the offender uh, has, has an easier time with this than the offended one, right? So, so even if you're offended with yourself, you find yourself struggling with forgiveness, struggling to move forward. But the offender has an easier time than the offended one. Uh, I, I, I think uh, 
But the only way, really, okay, let's just leave that sit there for a second, but the only real way to experience forgiveness in our life really is to root out the offense, right? To root that out of us and take out the root. And it, it's painful sometimes to even consider that, but we must forgive the offense so that we can move forward or we'll always be offended, okay? And, uh, and then you base every decision from then for going forward on the offense, on the on the 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 feeling right the the disappointment the 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 lack of something okay and so my decisions going forward uh, will always be be tainted or 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 marred by the offense okay but we must root out pull out so that we can then heal amen uh, so so uh, Jesus Jesus walked through that same door because. And I always marveled when Jesus was laying, he was dying on the cross. He had his, uh, almost his, his, one of his last thing he said before he said it's finished. He said, Father, forgive them for they, they don't know what they're doing. And, and it, it, the, the doorway is the same for us. We must forgive so that we can move forward, right? Move forward. Jesus, the same yesterday. See, that's, that's the thought. Jesus was the same yesterday like when 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 i was struggling with this problem in my life jesus was the same right that he's still the same now and he's going to be the same forever so my 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 escape <laughs> my hope my future is still found in jesus right i still need jesus amen he's the same he, he hasn't changed uh uh <laughs> <laughs> so 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 we we can see that whenever we look at Jesus we don't need to be afraid or to be fearful because he is the same right he's the rock he's the the anchor point in our life he's the the the, the love of God manifest in the flesh for all of the world he he he's the rock he so, said so I don't need to be afraid right I don't need to be afraid I there's a verse in Malachi uh, 3 6 actually we, we quote uh, Malachi uh, 3 10 all the time when we start to talk about tithing or giving and how we rob God but but I like this verse uh, 3 verse 6 it says for I am the Lord he, he just and he puts a comma there because he is the Lord he's the the Lord of all he's the Lord of my life he's the Lord of my circumstance he's the Lord of my everything right I I, I set him above my feelings i set him above my circumstance i set him a, 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 above what i feel i'm missing in my life i set him up above that i set him up as lord right that means i i serve him i i walk with him right i know that he is with me he he's still here today he says for i am the lord and then it says something really powerful i change not it says i am the lord I change not. <laughs> isn't that powerful? What a, what a great promise we have. God isn't going to change, right? He's not going to change ever, right? And He's still extending His arms right now of love for you and I. He still extends today, right? And it, uh, uh, it, says, it says, I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are, Jacob are not consumed. And He's speaking about the children of Israel, how they're not consumed. It's in it, and that, that, that moves even unto us today, right? We are, we are not consumed because He's the Lord. <laughs> you see, we have to really understand really the, the, the concept of love because love extends itself over and over to, to even us that don't really want to receive it. Those of us that are holding back, right? Those of us that are holding back because we're hurt. Hmm. So, so these are words that we can live by. I change not. <laughs> that I is for me and it's for you. Amen? 